Just be happy. Why not? Just be happy. Don't stop. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Um, but it's it's. <laughs> I'm happy to be on the show. Oh, I'm glad to have you on the show. Yeah. You know, I had an opportunity to meet you. I uh, I visit a lot. Of, I have spiritual practices, you know, and I go to different places, different churches, different places to share my divine light to everyone, right. you know. And I had an opportunity, uh, you know, a lot of people frown upon uh, people who are in churches and religious people and stuff like that. They frown upon mediums. And... Uh, because they think it's contrary to what they represent and what they're doing, you know. And I wanted to uh, you to, to give you an opportunity to explain to people what mediumship is and what it, what it really is. Do, would you mind explaining it to the audience there? I don't mind that at okay. all. Well, it's it's it was all new to me. Mm -hmm. uh, it really was. I didn't really sort of understand too much about it uh, yes. growing as a child, only knowing that my mum and dad... Maybe we're a bit spooky. Mm -hmm. yeah, a bit spooky? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what do you mean? They were a bit spooky. You were, um, you were afraid of your mom and dad or what? Um, well, this is only going back to family. Yeah. My, <laughs> my sister would tell me that, um, mm -hmm. have you heard of things moving, like mm -hmm. bumping in the night? Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm listening. Have yeah. you heard of that before? Oh, yes, of course. You know, Haunted well, houses. Uh, Haunted house, things like that. Well, yeah. I was told... That my house, that I was, and I was actually born in my house mm. in London. Wow. Um, Midwife, yeah, as a boy. No, no, no. My mum, mum. I think it just she, she liked everything to happen naturally. Oh, my mum. Yeah, so right. I really don't know. I couldn't tell you. Ooh, of course, you were just know, coming out. I was just coming out, and I was happy to do. That. Yes. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> but. Um, no, you didn't come out, man. No, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> my my house was a little bit haunted. Haunted. Um, what would happen? My mum would have her, her auntie over mm -hmm. for tea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. And being told by my brothers and sisters, mainly my sisters in my family, mm -hmm. that things would fall off the side, mm -hmm. things would move. Mm -hmm. oh. So, you remember, I'm only just a small boy. And when things would fall down and smash, I thought it was just fun someone making making fun you know of it you know mm -hmm. but things really truly used to happen like that and it sort of as as i grew mm -hmm. in my life as a child mm -hmm. something special happened mm -hmm. which i can't even think would have ever happened to me losing a parent mm -hmm. so you lost your parents very small both of them yeah wow. and i lost my father First? Yeah, when I was about five or six years old. Mm -hmm. And my mother told me in a happy way, wow. <laughs> you know, to be to put it on the light way yeah. that he went away to work. So that made me feel good. So you knew your father passed away, but your mother said he went away to work. <laughs> yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. And in a funny little way, this little boy mm -hmm, mm -hmm. was praying maybe one day that really my father was going to come home. Mm. You really believed he would come home? I really did believe that. Mm. So, But in my heart, I knew that he was in heaven. Mm -hmm. He was with our father. Mm -hmm. He was in a happy place. Mm -hmm. He knew that he he could be around us any time he wanted to. Yes. Just by a moment in time. Yes. And that would make, I knew in my heart, yes. that that would make me happy in some way. Wow. But this particular time... My mother was sick mm -hmm. and a little boy had to give her a little old or a little cuddle. Mm -hmm. And to my amazement, I looked up mm -hmm. and there my father from the spirit world appeared to me. Wow. You mean you actually saw your father? As I'm looking at you. Wow. At five years old. Five years old. But I knew, really, yeah. it made me feel even more excited. Wow. It made me feel even more Secure. to express myself yes. knowing that my dad was well. And yeah. that made me happy. It really did. Wow. Yeah. 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 Is just, yeah. just knowing stuff, you know. No, yeah. No one had to tell you. No one had to make you happy. You just happy, was happy because you knew. I knew that he was in a good place, you know. Wow. Yeah. But really, really, after that, mm -hmm. 
I knew that something, shall I use the word special, was going to happen as I grew in my life or when I got older. So you knew pretty much that you had a purpose here in this life. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't like going to school, working, but you knew you had a special purpose or gift, which is a purpose. Yeah. Maybe school was a little bit difficult for me, but, but it gave me hope. Oh, hope, yes. It gave me hope, that school, but it, I had to continue. So this is a conclusion you came to yourself innately. It's just a gut it's feeling. A, a, f a funny feeling in a funny way. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it kept me my strength. It gave me my strength. And it gave me the, 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 the willpower to move on. Why? So in other words, if things doesn't go right, you had the faith to know it will be all right. I certainly did for mm -hmm. some reason. Wow, wow. Interesting, interesting. I'm going to ask you a, a question. What is happiness, and what happiness means to you? <laughs> when my parents both died, because my mum eventually died when I was about 10. Wait a minute, first it was your dad, now your mum died. Yeah. You're but still young, though. It made, yeah, 10 years but old. it made me happy mm. that they were in a good place, and I could talk to them, having this sort of, I don't know, this, this wonderful feeling that I could communicate with them. Wow made me happy that they were in such a wonderful place in heaven wow. reaching out whenever I needed them wow. for my guidance in life my my opportunities that I had to take if it's good or bad mm. thank God mm. it makes me very pleased and happy that I never took any other way Yes. No pathways. It seemed that my pathway was to go forward in some way yeah. to reach out to that energy that was needed for others. Wow. Now, did you physically talk to your mother? Or verbally, you can actually hear, I mean, you use your voice as mom, dad, I know you, did you actually speak to them that way? I do. And I also d talk to me in other ways as well, where, do you know when birthdays come up? and Christmas come up, comes around, mm -hmm. I take, I know that they're close, because many people uh, in, mm -hmm. in the world today where I've worked have mm -hmm. gave me my parents. Yes. So when their birthday comes around, I go into the shop. Mm -hmm. And that makes me very, very pleased and happy that I can look at a card and know that my parents, my mum, my dad, and knowing what I'm doing. Wow, so in other words, you know that they're always with you. Certainly, and wow. that makes me very pleased. That doesn't take me down in mm. any way, in any form. It just gives me the strength. Mm. And uh, believe me, yes. I might be a very sensitive man, yes. but when I need the strength and the happiness, I just reach out to my mum and dad in the spirit world, and they're, they're like this. But when I was a little boy, mm -hmm. we didn't have much. Mm -hmm. You know, we never had things. We never had a proper telly. Mm -hmm. We never had these things. We had a telly, but it was black and white, mm -hmm. where other people had um, colour yes. TV. Yes. So my brothers and sisters, we didn't know anything else. Yes. And that made us very pleased that our mother and father gave us that happiness of what we what we had around us yes. and what they could afford. So to us, we always looked on that strong side yes. of knowing we had a parent, another parent that loved us very much indeed. Wow. So, so it's still there. We still built inside us that, that, that repreciation that mm -hmm. we had mm -hmm. and we still have and it makes us happy. Well, you know, there, there's some, um, I'm glad you said that. I was thinking as you were speaking, if I can elaborate on it, there are people who, who, who not only look for happiness in other people, they blame situations. You did this to me. This is why I feel this way. Or this happened to me. This is why I feel this way. And I can't feel happy because I had a bad experience, you know, or you abused me in some kind of way or, uh, you know, can you explain? Uh, can, can, can I say yes. if, if I... I I continued doing that because of death, because I lost my parents. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't make me a very nice person. Mm -hmm. It would make me sad. Yes. 
So I reversed that. Yes. No one I, told you to do it. It was your choice. No, it's it. my choice. So I reversed that and keep that happy, go lucky person that I've always been. It's in me. I love it. So, well, I was talking about my parents, and you know, you can see each and every one of you here today that I love my, my mother and father very dearly. And going to my mother, we all love our mother. There's no one like mum. Now, when my mother died, when I was about 10 years old, I always remember this. I was so happy enjoying myself outside uh, playing football, uh, 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 soccer uh, in, in England, playing this game. And I come into the house and my brother gave me such a surprise that my mother had passed. And he told me to go to my uncle's. But because of that funny feeling that I had inside of there is no death, I believe that she, she will go to a better place because of my father and they'll be, they be together. That made me very pleased and very happy. So whoever's feeling down, whoever's feeling low and, and they need some, need some sort of advice, ask that person, ask that spirit within and reach out for that love. Thank you. Wow, thank you. You know, my dog, oh, there he goes again, yeah. He's always happy. He's always laughing, you know. Uh, and, and, you know, that's why I have him on this show, because, uh, you know, I'm human. Sometimes I say, well, maybe I should be there, but I just keep laughing because he laughs all the time, you know. Uh, you know what? Um, give me a little time here. I got to talk to the guests and tell them where we Thank at, you. you know. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you are on the Happy Show. My name is Happy. And you want to be a guest on our show and tell us what it means to be happy or what happiness is to you? Give us a call at 415-573-5549. It's 415-573-5549. A very... Give them their happiness back. Yes. That though they're not around us, Physically. their spirit yes. is moved on. Yes. We're all light. You're light. Yes. I'm light. Spirit's light. So it's like a telephone call yes. when I do this. And it amazes me every time why they use me in this way. Yes. And it makes me feel so warm yes. seeing someone smile. Yes, 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 yes. You know... I want to comment on it and says, uh, how many, we, I think we got about five more minutes left and I'm going to try to get a lot covered within this period Thank of time you. because so many people uh, in churches, different religion and spiritual places, they, they found upon mediumship because uh, they don't quite understand it. They think it's, it's contrary to religion or spirituality and, uh, you know, they don't know. Can you explain what a medium does? Exactly. I mean, I know, you just told me what you did. Well, it, it, it's, uh, it's, it's supposed to bring back a, a particular person to bring comfort. Mm -hmm. It really is. It's a comforting thing, really. And it is, it's proving that there is life when we leave this place and that we go to a better place. So we never die then? We never die, no. Mm, interesting. It's, 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 it's gone. gone. Yes. The way you want to be happy is to make someone else happy. You know, that's how we do it. <laughs> it really works. Now, I uh, like to say this a lot so you can always remember never to forget. Now, take every experience that happened in your life, bad or good. It happens to create a, so you can create a better understanding of yourself. So you can even, even better help someone else. Okay? So just be happy, y'all. Okay? See you. <laughs> Bye now. Just be happy. Why not? Just be happy. Don't stop.